Hey everyone, welcome to Sketch A Day Live. We're getting started here. Why is my computer freaking out again? It's always freaking out. I think it might be this cable or something. Anyhow, thanks for joining the stream today. We're just gonna hang out, we're gonna get drawing. Please make artwork on Mortal Kombat. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Happy Wednesday to you guys too. Hey Lori, you're joining early. I'm guessing your work situation changed, but in any case. Thanks for joining and hanging out. I can't see what's on. Um, <laughs> Yesterday was my birthday and I am older now. <clears throat> All right, we got Akira bikes already requested Mortal Kombat. We'll see. We'll see. I'm, I'm a little bit discombobulated is that the correct word disoriented i let's see here <laughs> i feel like computers hate me some days anyhow i can't see what's on my iphone so if you're watching on the iphone or sorry on instagram um apologies i can't see the chat so feel free to join the YouTube. I posted a link there so you can check that out. Hello, Svetlana and Art. Wild Wednesday. I mean, that could be a thing. We're going to warm up anyways. We'll get started here. It's a little bit choppy. It's interesting. Let's see. Am I dropping any frames? I'm not dropping any frames, at least there. And I'm mad at myself, too, because I, <laughs> in my birthday revelry yesterday, I actually spilled some stuff on my laptop yeah so I kind of wrecked my laptop screen and I'm mad at myself <clears throat> for that but life goes on we'll make it happen I did order a new 13 inch MacBook Pro to yes so who knows maybe I'll keep it we'll see kind of stinks anyhow just trying to stay warm stay healthy stay happy all of that good stuff um, and hopefully you guys are doing Doing well today. All right. Okay, what was I doing? Yeah, QuickTime is not working, so I can't see. I can't see my iPhone. So apologies. I won't be able to respond to your comments if you're watching on Instagram, but you can always join on the YouTube. All right, new lens here. So let's see. Let's see what we see what we got. All right, boom. Okay. Let's zoom in a little bit more. All right. Not doing digital today. I'm keeping it, keeping it old school. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you for the birthday wishes, everyone. I thought about going live yesterday, but then I was like, nah, let's just relax. Okay. I'm sketching with a Pentel sign pen today. The theme for the week is video games. So I will try and do some of your video game stuff. We got a Mortal Kombat request. I don't want to do anything like extremely violent though, so I'll I'll sketch a character. Um, at least just the, the the character sketch, and then let's see. There was another request for. What's up, Jordan? Thanks for joining. Ah, working remote. Latrice back again, flexing those guns. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm gonna I'm gonna lift some weights after the stream actually. Um. Thank you. Thank you for the birthday wishes, everyone. Too many people knew about that, I guess. I mean, I did post on the Discord, but um, I'm glad I'm glad you like those, Christian. Thanks for thanks for purchasing the Procreate brushes. I'll make sure there's a mix of like digital and, you know, paper sketching this week. And I already uploaded all the streams for the week that I'll be doing. <laughs> So streaming right now, obviously, um, tomorrow as well. Actually, I think I need to change the time for tomorrow's stream, but I'll be streaming tomorrow, today, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I need to add a couple more, but we'll keep warming up here. Just some ellipses. Latrice actually caught me on my Adobe stream. So after the stream today, if you guys are interested and want to... Uh, want to get some more drawing stuff actually it was a it was an interesting demo for me because i i actually went eh, i mean i just i covered some perspective stuff you know there's some 
some challenges. It's a digital presentation using Adobe Fresco. So if you want to check that out, the link is in the chat. Um, but that's that's what I did this morning. I'll be back tomorrow morning as well. Just kind of uh, drawing and chatting. So so yeah, Latrice was there. It was good to see you. I think there was a couple other people as well that, that spotted it. So good times. I'm going to go for about an hour today on the stream. So we'll get moving here. But warm up super important as always. Again, if you're watching on Instagram, my... My usual means of mirroring, mirroring, say that 10 times fast, mirroring my phone seem to not be working. So I can't pay close attention to chat. I don't even know where the paper is in, in relation to the screen. So apologies for that. Um, I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure what's going on or what's happening here. So. So, yeah. Um, by the way, the laptop still works. It's just the screen looks terrible. <laughs> so I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm just bummed, mad at myself because it was a stupid mistake. Moral of the story is do not drink liquids next to your computers. <laughs> no matter how confident you may seem. I think I've been fairly lucky, though, all things considered. I don't even know where my coffee went. Um, all things considered, I've been... <laughs> Thank you, Latrice. Uh, lucky in terms of spills and computer stuff. So the reason this paper looks so messy is I'm trying to just move quickly and not waste the paper or the warm-ups. What is my favorite game? You know, I was going to kick some kick off actually with um, one of my favorite game things. Let's see. I'm just typing it in here. So I can get the right references, but one of my favorite games back in the day actually was Metal Slug. Do you guys remember that game, Metal Slug? Can't pull it up here because I don't have my iPad connected. But one of the cool things about the game is they have these like crazy vehicle designs that I absolutely loved, um, like all the bosses and anyhow. It was just really fun. Fun, fun, fun little game. I think it was for, wasn't it for like the Neo Genesis or something like that? I don't remember the name of the game system, but I used to save all my quarters and go to the arcade. So the theme this week is video games. We're sketching video game related things. Um, so I'll kick things off, like I said, with some Metal Slug, we'll just say Metal Slug inspired uh designs here and I'm just using a gray marker to do proportionally anyways something with perhaps some tread like so so metal slug it definitely had like an old war vibe to it like old school like really old school um so that's fun I'll, I'll do some stuff with some treads here and let's see I gotta make this feel feel metal sluggish So yeah, maybe this is the, <laughs> but they had these, these funky proportions, um, for everything that, you know, just kind of worked. That wouldn't be a cut that you'd see on a metal slug tank, but we'll, f we'll fix it. We'll fix it. No worries. All right. But maybe, maybe something like this, we could have perhaps a little bit of a blast shield, some armor. Um, I also love Mario, so maybe we'll do some Mario stuff as well. I'll squeeze in that Mortal Kombat request, and I think there was a request for some sort of Akira-style bike. But I'm going to keep it loose today just for the sake of time. Um, tight sketches always take more time, and loose is fun too. I will say, thanks for making the Discord awesome. We got some heavy hitters tuning in. We've got Danny C checking in, uh, Mauricio. We have many others that have recently joined as well with mad skills. So if I haven't mentioned you, it's not because I don't recognize that you guys are insanely talented. It's just that um, my brain can be like a sieve sometimes. So. Um, yeah, it's been it's been really exciting to see just that pickup. 
Let's do some sort of plane inspired mech or something from Metal Slug. I don't know. We're just we're just playing around here. Playing around, get it? <laughs> Just playing around. <clears throat> Anyhow, that's been exciting. So if you haven't yet, please check out the Discord. Join the community. Fist of the North Star, yes. I used to love Fist of the North, North Star. I mean, if you want to go really, like, really old school. I mean, we're talking, like, Prince of Persia from back in the day. Do you guys remember that? Golden Axe was another one I played. Just so many, so many of these, uh games back in the day so a little bit of metal slug stuff here I don't remember how the logo looks but um, I used to love super R type as well <laughs> this is gonna be a fun week um, super R type was fun there was uh, I, so my family growing up we never had game systems like my parents never bought them for me and my siblings oh Okay, I just, I just undid my pad of marker paper, so I gotta remember which side is the front. Anyhow, um, we never, we never had money to like buy game systems, so I would, I would sneak over to my. We're gonna do some ballpoint today for a change, but um, I would sneak over to my friend's house. Not really sneak, just kind of disappear you know, on a Saturday or something, and like literally just play games from probably seven in the morning till seven at night. So many good times, good memories. All right, so mixing it up a little bit today using some ballpoint pen, something I don't normally use. But again, if you are watching on the Instagram, my apologies, just having some technical difficulties, don't know quite what's happening there my phone it keeps it keeps cutting out on my screen so i can't see it um, but if you do decide to watch on instagram consider purchasing a badge that is a way to uh, kind of support your creators who are streaming so check that out and the cool thing is at least this month um instagram is matching badge contributions so if you decide to do that they will actually basically double whatever it is you say you're pitching in, which again is, is kind of cool. It's been a while since I've used ballpoint pen here. Anyhow, thank you for the birthday wishes. I had a fantastic day in the way I like to have my fantastic days. Just pretty chill. Heard, for some, heard from some friends, which is good. I know the world is a little bit weird right now, so wasn't able to necessarily hang out with anyone but that's okay just had a nice quiet evening with the with the kiddos and we just kind of chilled so that was that was pretty fun so to finish this sketch up i'm gonna have to actually probably use chart pack markers because it is a ballpoint sketch i guess metal metal slug is kind of like it does have a little steampunk kind of vibe to things too. But we do do one of those like flap exhaust things right here. Anyhow, um, so just had a chill night with my kids, which was awesome. They're pretty great. I am definitely definitely fortunate as a father good kids some of you have seen them before they want to be on the show dad can we can we sketch with you it's like oh we'll see we'll see i know you guys like to see them but you also played on friends nes oh any it was a super nintendo svetlana and art or was it just regular Nintendo, I'm curious. Rampage. Ah, Rampage. Area 51. I remember, I didn't I didn't quite get into the um thank you, Fluorus. Yes, passion is the process. Absolutely. Um, I didn't quite get into like the 
arcade shooters that much. I mean, video games is such a broad topic. I think we'll do it again for the weekly um, sketch challenge at some point. You know, I'm, I'm happy to take suggestions from you guys. Like, like I said, I just love that things are picking up on the Discord and people are excited and sharing their work. Like, it's really cool to see. So, um, appreciate you pitching in. So, yeah, open to suggestions, but it's such a broad topic. I mean, even as I think about, so I'm, you know, a, a lot of the, the favorites I gave you are from console games for example or arcade but there's also pc gaming which i got into um a bit later got into some pc gaming so i used to play doom um a little bit quake was kind of my thing for a minute quake 3 uh was it quake 3 yeah it was quake 3 um was it? yeah it was quake 3 quake 3 arena was like my my jam for a while and then um and then i kind of stopped like i didn't i took like a two-year break or so from like really gaming and that's when i think unreal came out unreal tournaments um you had halo which i never really got into like i was never a haloer is that even a term what do you call it? people who play halo basement dwellers or do you call them like something else just kidding just kidding um but yeah i used to play quake 3 arena in fact fun fact guys fun fact about quake 3 arena i was like part of a clan <laughs> so before you know esports was actually a thing and i was really good at it um but i was part of a clan we would do our little um land parties and all that stuff um yeah it i i really got into the weeds there for a minute so video games man now i just don't have time i wish i did even after the stream here today gotta edit some videos um i'm working on a new feature for the the channel and i hope you guys enjoy it it's gonna be you know two to five minute long videos and the feature is called my favorite things so it'll just be me talking about literally my favorite things um, from a product design perspective. I will say the first few are a little rough, but um, I think I think the concept has legs. But I'll be curious to hear um, what you guys say as well. So watch out for that. That's kind of what I was working on Monday. I had to do like a new intro bumper thing and few other things so it's a lot of work but I think I'm only gonna do one of these <laughs> one of these metal sluggers so ballpoint just like a uh, pencil and I think to some degree digital sketching it can take a long time man so like it's fun to sketch with and like scan and clean up but it does just take some work so hey yeah thanks as always for joining the stream much love to you happy wednesday can't believe it's wednesday already time flies time certainly flies all right let's finish up our little blast shield here on our metal slug inspired tank. I guess we'd have more patchwork of metal here in this tank. We're actually from the game Metal Slug. I mean, 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 mean. A Chrono Trigger for Super Nintendo. Did you guys ever play that? I got into RPGs for a bit. Um, so yeah, Chrono Trigger and then Zelda on the super nintendo i forgot the name of it um that was fun i have a switch right now but i haven't even picked it up to play <laughs> to play the new zelda that's how bad i am um ninja gaiden was a fun one back in the day i was thinking about maybe sketching ryu hayabusa and then there was uh speaking of ryu right who can forget street fighter 
Show you can. Or whatever it is it says. And then you had Chun Li and all those characters. So much fun. So much fun. Yeah, Quake was great. Um, Quake 2 was interesting. For sure. But yeah, Fist of the North Star, man. I remember that. Oh, shoot. And then, um, yeah, Zelda Link to the Past. That is it. Um, so the other arcade game that I was like mad crazy about and just obsessed. It was so it was when I it was before I moved to the United States, but I would visit. And so I discovered Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh my god. That game. Like that ate a lot of quarters for me. Talk about eating quarters. That game like whew, so good <laughs> like I can still you can still hear the sounds you know there's a really good documentary well I, I don't know if I'd say really good a fun documentary isn't called the video games that made us or something like that the games that made us but um, on Netflix if you can get it it's about video games check it out let's put some more rivets here um, check it out. It's pretty cool. Just uh, about video game, the video game industry history, and you know, really, really brings you back. I mean, it, it's like way. I think the, not to spoil it for you, but it doesn't cover more modern games necessarily. Anyhow, and then the, <laughs> I could talk about games for a while. Apparently, I didn't even realize. Um, Rainbow Six is another one that was really good. Call of Duty, of course. Um, what game did I never really get into? I never got into Halo. Um, I was, I think it was just a matter of principle and opposition to playing first person shooters on a console. It just didn't feel right. So even Fortnite, I've never played Fortnite, but my kids like to play it. Um... So yeah. All right. So next, I think I'll do the Akira bike because that'll be fun. I mean, it's not necessarily video game related. Or should I do Mortal Kombat? I'll let you guys decide. Um, man, but Super Mario Brothers, like, what's your favorite Super Mario Brothers game? I'll give you my two favorites. Um. So I, I love Mario games in general. Oh man, Mario Kart was so good too. Super Mario Brothers 3 is one of the greatest games ever made. Okay. And then Super Mario Wii. I think that's the one it was called. It was one that they made for the Wii U. Oh yeah, Mario Brothers Wii U. That one was fun. Really, really, really fun. So I enjoy that. I didn't get into any of the 3D Mario games. Thought those were weird. So I much prefer the side scroll. Oh man, Contra. I totally forgot about Contra. So good. Contra. Um, okay, confession. Occasionally I'll get lost watching speedruns of my uh, childhood video games. So like Contra 3. Is it Contra 3? Yeah. The Alien Wars, I think it was called. So much fun. That was a good game. Small tournaments at the tilt for Marvel vs. That game was insane. It was like... It was insane. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, Metal Slug. Jordan. I used to play Metal Slug at the arcade. And then a confession. I, hopefully the authorities won't come, come after me. And then I got into emulators. And that changed a bunch for me. So then I was able to play even more Metal Slug. <laughs> So that was fun. Of course, I don't do that now, so... If you're listening, FBI, go away. Please. Just go away. Man of culture, you say? Yeah, there's a world um, of speedruns out there for sure. For sure. Alright, let's just, let's just do this real quick. 
think I I think I took too long with that other one and I could have been a bit more a bit more deliberate. Um there was a there was like a Gundam game I used to play as well. It was I think it was maybe Let's do something ridiculous on this one. Cuz that's the thing with Metal Slug is you had these like vehicles that were kind of just ridiculous almost. <laughs> Um, so let's have this, like, wrap into some sort of Gatling or something. Anyhow, I discovered this Gundam Wars. I think it was called Gundam Wars video game. And that was also insane. Oh, Castlevania! Oh my goodness, Castlevania was good, too. What's the hardest game you guys have ever played? How about that question? Since we're on the topic of games, what is the most challenging game that you've played? Does chess count as a video game? I mean, I could do chess pieces. I still play chess um, even today. I used to play in, in high school. All right, let's have like some of these rounds or something. I don't know. This doesn't make sense, but I'm going to do it anyways. Doesn't make sense meaning I've got bullets coming out of the the main thing here and then like and we have some airplane on some wheels. It feels weird. But hey, might as well do some fun. Anyhow, um hardest game you guys ever played. What would that be? Chess is pretty difficult, I will say that. Uh, Mega Man, I didn't get into Mega Man, really. But I could sketch Mega Man, that'd be fun. Alright, so I guess, yeah, I'll do... Maybe I'll do um, a couple Mortal Kombat, at least, heads, if not busts. Um, just for the characters, we'll do a couple of those. How long does this take? 20? Yeah. We're okay on time. We'll be back tomorrow. No worries. No worries. I just uh, I had to take some time off for the old birthday yesterday and leading up to that. So, <laughs> well, much needed. Uh, just doing nothing. It was a good time. All right. So maybe we could do something like that. And then I think for the wheels, I like these. Um, Almost blast wheel covers. So we do something like that. There's a designer on Instagram. I don't know if you guys are aware of him. His name is, I think his name is John Fry. <coughs> really good. Fry works. Um, Fry. Let's see. Fry works. I gotta spell this right. Ah, okay. Let's see if I can get this. Fry work, not fry works. All right. So I won't tell you where he works, but he works for maybe it's in his profile. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say where he works, but um, I'll just say he works in the automotive industry. Super talented. Uses uh, ballpoint pens. Oh, Metroid would be fun too. Ava P, we're drawing uh, stuff from Metal Slug, the video game. The theme this week on the channel, at least the challenge, I shouldn't say theme, it's just a challenge, is to do video game related things. So on our Discord, we have a little server, a little community. You can join, say hey, say hey, what's up? And uh, every week, Jordan, our awesome mod for the server, Kind of throws out a topic so shout out to jordan it was his idea he's been driving this i hope you guys um you know show him some love anyhow every week there's a new topic and so this week <laughs> the topic was video games we've just been talking about video games you know uh getting a bit nostalgic perhaps with our childhoods and so forth. 
So if you hate video games, I'm sorry. But if you love drawing, you'll be good. So it's, it's kind of like win, win, or win, lose. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Metal Slug's awesome. I'm trying to remember. Oh, Teenage, Min Teenage, Ninja ah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the video game, was also very fun back in the day. I mean, this whole show could be ballpoint and marker. That'd be fun. Anyhow, a couple of highlights there. Let's get this nose shaded in a bit. Good news in the world, though, it seems that, at least potentially, seems that uh, all of this might be coming to a close soon, so... Hopefully we can get out there and travel. Maybe I'll go to Russia, like I said, and want to do. But we'll see. Again, if you're watching on Instagram, apologies. My screen mirroring is not working today, and I don't know why. So let's see. Yeah, I don't know why. I think I need to just run a, an update on my computer or something. Toughest game. There's a few. Easier by System and Parasite Eve for PlayStation 1. Okay. I think... I, okay, so I'm going to throw down again. I think the hardest video game ever created, for those who... Maybe you're in my my age range. Full disclosure, I am 38, so I'm getting up there. But, but... Hardest game I've ever played would have to be Ninja Gaiden 1 for Nintendo. Alright, that game, and... It, it, you know, gamers today, maybe you appreciate this, maybe not, depending on how old you are, but back in the day, man, now I'm sounding old, back in my day, but back in the day, like, if you wanted to beat, finish a game, okay, if you wanted to finish a game, you had to plan, you had to plan, because in the case of, like, you know, something like Ninja Gaiden or Mega Man, like Jordan was saying, you couldn't save the game. I mean, that was what that was one thing that was nice about emulators is you could save, but you you couldn't save the game. So if I wanted to finish Ninja Gaiden, you'd have to like at least I would get up at like six in the morning, right? And then plan on finishing. And then if you don't finish, like, and the next time your friend's parents or whoever says you can play was going to be, you know, a day away. You'd have to leave that system on all the whole time, all day, right? No take backs, no saves, no redos. Like, that is what it was. All right, so there's the Metal Slug stuff. Let's do, let's do, uh, let's do like Scorpion or something. Let's do Scorpion from, did I type? Oh, <laughs> Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. I'll just do my own version of this character. Uh, I'll probably copy a stance at least, um, just from reference here. So Scorpion is a um, character from the game Mortal Kombat. He was an interesting one. He had this little thing he would shoot out. I won't describe it. <laughs> in exquisite detail here but needless to say he had a way of bringing his opponent closer in and he would say get over here get over here do you guys remember that um <laughs> so i remember um yeah i'm not really good at action poses so i'm trying to find a good action or at least uh stance pose here that i can can reference for you guys um but yeah, I remember in the in the case of Mortal Kombat, um, like, uh, let's see if I can get something started here. Head. Maybe let's do this this way. Probably have to do an overlay again, because again, you guys know I'm not the best at figures, but 
I always try it. Anyhow, but I remember when this this one came out and it was like um you know at the the arcade in my little town and it was fun to again sneak out and go to the arcade i used to tell my parents oh yeah i'm going okay kids do not lie to your parents by the way sketch a day did not advocate or tell you to lie to your parents anyhow if kids are watching um but yeah i remember sneaking out to the arcade i guess i, I could I could, I could, uh, yeah, I can make this work. Um, but yeah, sneaking out to the arcade and like, play Mortal Kombat because I wasn't I wasn't old enough necessarily to play Mortal Kombat so that was the the problem right it's like and at least where I grew up there were no um maybe he has like a whipped around his whipped around chain here or something um What was I saying? Oh yeah. So we we would sneak into the arcade and then you know go play our Mortal Kombat or whatever. So yeah, his name is Scorpion. Get over here. So I guess that's that's one of the nice things about ballpoint is yeah, you you can kind of work a sketch as much as you need. Um, until it like feels right. And then add like your marker stuff. So if that's a if that's a style or something you wanna wanna kinda work on or do, you can certainly do that. So even in here, that's why I was like, yeah I can probably fix that because as I As I work on this, we can kind of just fill in and figure out lines and stuff. No pun intended, lines. But yeah, just a nice light touch and fill things out. This this uh, back back foot here is giving me grief though, so I'm gonna figure out like do I want actually yeah that, that kind of makes sense that he would be yeah that makes sense. So appreciate your requests, guys. Hopefully you've been having fun on the Discord, posting up your concepts, your sketches, your tributes, whatever it is you've got. Um, I don't even know what this, this, uh, didn't, didn't one of his characters have, like, skulls around his belt or something? So maybe I'll do that. We'll have, we'll throw some skulls in, um, or something. As we do our version of... Scorpion for Mortal Kombat. Thanks for watching Sketch a Day on this Wednesday. Hope you're having fun. We watched the new Mortal Kombat mini TV series. I've never. Oh, yeah, Cyrax. <laughs> and Sector was in there too. That's cool. I remember Cyrax and Sector. Um, yeah, I remember those characters too. I used to love Cyrax. Um, Street Fighter, like I said, was also pretty fun. Sure, you can. 
All right, let me pay attention here because I'm not paying attention to the mirroring. Not really paying attention. Okay, so yeah, maybe he has like some miniaturized skulls or something because he's just that sinister. Maybe I'll do uh, I'll do marker on this one for sure um, because I do need to to cover up some stuff here. All right, kind of hint at those skulls, and then he's got his I don't know what you call this, but. Whatever his outfit is. So now, since we're working with Ballpoint, I can kind of come in here. Again, apologies if you're watching on the Instagram. I cannot see anything. So I'm flying blind. Absolutely flying blind here. Um, I saw a post on Instagram this week. I guess I'll just speak to that because I got a bunch of comments and people agree and disagree. Um, the sentiment of the post was something along the lines of you don't need to as a designer sketch and you know I'm, I'm friends with the person I get the sentiment but I also wanted to clarify a few things and that is to say for example that you know as also as a designer who's had um, two decades of experience almost um, that there are many instances in which being able to sketch has proven to be um, beneficial to to my practice to my ability to communicate concepts and you guys know like you you see you know the sketches i do here aren't necessarily the most refined up front but the reason i'm able to do this and even tackle things that i would say are outside of my wheelhouse and comfort zone and at least you know, come up with convincing things is because I've put in the time and I have that experience to be able to to communicate. So it's not necessarily about like, okay, can you put together a hot sketch for this meeting, but more so, hey, I've put in the time and I've pushed myself far enough that yeah, scribbling, doodling is easy enough for me now that yeah, if somebody you know, offers me a challenge and says, hey, sketch this, sketch that. We can approach it. Thank you for the contribution, by the way. I just saw that. Um, let's see. Who did that? Who was it? I don't know who it was, but whoever you are, thank you. I love you. I appreciate it. Um, any jams while growing? Oh, NBA. Oh, yeah. NBA jams was good. That was another good one. That was another good one. So, so yeah, the whole, you know, designers don't need to sketch thing, I think is bogus because it, it feels like a sidestep from like an actual usable skill. Yeah, you don't need to break out the pastels and do like, you know, hot sketches all the time, whatever that means. Um, Okay, so for this back leg here, I think what I'm going to do, because it, it feels a little awkward, and again, I'm not, you know, I'm not the best of the stuff. So I'm going to make some tweaks here and then just kind of put this in the shadow with the ballpoint pen. But yeah, it feels like a sidestep from like wanting to do the work. And I, I do wish, I had this thought earlier, I do wish that, you know, the, the designers that are talented that maintain their skills and actually you know win awards and stuff you don't necessarily hear about them um the ones that do tend to um you know they have teams of people that are actually supporting their work and doing those sketches so yes at a certain point in your career and i should mention i do have a video on this coming up that i've already recorded um with some graphics to kind of help 
um, explain, but yeah, sketching in general is a very useful skill if you're a designer. So, and I'm not saying this because it affects me per se. I just want to make sure that the representation of what I do as a designer is, is, you know, accurate. All right, what am I gonna what am I gonna do for his his face thing here? Let's go more angled, perhaps. Like so, and then just thinking about light. All right, so if the light if the light source is coming this way, right? Just want to make sure that. get the right shadows where we need them shadow of Ed for example just a general dark area here maybe a bit more contrast to pull his head forward so yeah um, don't be don't be fooled sketching is valuable because I'll tell you what um, I know a lot of people who hire designers and yes they want you to sketch <laughs> You may not use it at a certain point in your career as much as you did before, but it's at least for a, a junior entry level designer, creative. Even even if you're not like planning on, I'm just gonna beef up his shoulders a little bit. Even if you're not planning on um, doing like say traditional design, like traditional industrial design, right? And you're doing like UX or something. Um, it's still valuable, you know, to be able to visualize those experiences, those flows, whatever the case may be. Um, there's never been a time where I've regretted learning to sketch <laughs> as a designer, and I've designed many products, so. Do with that as you wish. As you wish. Okay, back to video games. Um... I'm trying to think what else. Frogger, of course. Back in if we want to kick it old school. Frogger, Pac-Man. I mean, there's lots of lots of games, you know. It's it's amazing how much video games have impacted our lives, directly, indirectly, perhaps even. Um, pretty pretty amazing stuff. All right, let's throw some marker on this guy. <clears throat> and like I said, I, I'm using some reference just for the pose, but I'm not like copying the image. Maybe it'd be useful um, for me to do a video that talks about how to use reference without copying. It might be a useful, useful one for you guys. All right, let's grab my yellow chart packs here. I think I have some grays that I can use. I don't think I have a black, but we'll make it work. Designers, make it work. All right, let's go. GameCube is where you started. That's cool. I never had a GameCube. I did play, um, oh yeah, Battletoads. <laughs> that was so good. I remember Battletoads. Also very good. This would be more like that for but I remember Battletoads. That was a good game. All right, so something like that. Again, you know, you know the saying: "When in doubt, rough it out." That's what we did. Figured it out. All right. Now we have. <laughs> We have our scorpion dude here. Not perfect, but good enough. Thank you, King Khan. Much appreciated for the contribution. There you are. 
Thank you. It says, keep it up. I will. Um, it means a lot. Whenever you guys pitch in, it really does mean a lot. And I get chills and I'm just like, ah. Um, so I hope you, I hope you understand. Like, I don't, I don't take these things lightly and I'm not crying. You're crying, but thank you. All right. Let's color this up. What's up, Simon? Thanks for joining in today. <clears throat> All right, I just want to add this yellow is a bit off actually. I may have to just risk. Oh no, I found I found some. I was like, I may have to just risk it and try some other yellows because I wanted. Yeah, this is better. Is that out of focus? Interesting. Interesting. I got a new camera lens, so if it if it looks weird or you guys are like, what's going on? Just let me know. Focused in now. Okay, there we go. Should focus on its own, but it's been looking fuzzy or weird. Let me know. I'd be happy to tweak, change, adjust, whatever, whatever I gotta do. So yeah, these markers are, are nice because I'm actually gonna. I wonder if this is going to make him look too much like Wolverine. Um, but these markers are nice because they don't bleed with ballpoint pen. So they're xylene based marker. Is that dark enough? That's not dark enough. Um, xylene based marker. Yeah, I'm just going to have to risk it. Go YOLO. Actually. Try these guys out. I need something that's dark, but not like straight up black. <laughs> you want my studio. Thank you. Add card attack. I don't know who that is, but thank you for joining. Jet set radio. I haven't tried. Oh, that sounds familiar. Sounds really familiar. Jet Set Radio. Um, no, but I do I do appreciate the challenges, the pushes, the like. And even even though sometimes you guys may notice I hesitate, um, I do I do appreciate it. So thank you. Is this a terrible marker paper again that I picked up? It might be. It just might be, but that's okay. We'll make do. You know me. Figure it out. Um, there's arms, there's arms like, I don't remember. Yeah, this marker paper is terrible, so I'm gonna have to switch or just try and try and make it work. <laughs> That's probably what I'll do. Try and make it work. Okay, back to referencing costume here. All right, so the middle portion looks to be dark, so I'm gonna. Try and stay true to that. Let me do something like this. Yeah, this paper is terrible. <laughs> and how can you tell when marker paper is terrible? You, just kidding. I've never told you that. Um, It has to do with like, how the colors blend, or if they even blend. One thing, whether the paper bleeds behind. That's another thing. All right, forearms, let's see. His forearm is really long here, but let's, let's just ignore that fact. <laughs> let's just ignore that fact today.
But yeah, I hate <laughs> I hate when you've like done a drawing and then you use some marker paper and it's like wah wah terrible terrible marker paper. But I don't care that much, so Oh yeah, we were gonna do um or not we, I was gonna do like some some indication of his chain here. So I'll have to bring this out using, I'm just putting some marks down here. Don't worry. Whatever, whatever this, this chain is, I'll bring out some of it with, with the whites. Maybe a white pen or something. But yeah, thanks for the contributions. It means a lot. For real. It's the perfect birthday gift. So thank you. Besides being here, of course. Yeah, didn't it have like... I don't know, whatever, but I'm just gonna make this thing with some spikes on it. And he's holding it in the one hand. We'll just keep it loose. Keep it very loose right there. Thank you, Explosive Yoda. You take care. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, if you're just joining, we did... Is this really the second sketch? <laughs> we did Metal Slug um, inspired stuff. We're doing video game related topics today. So here's Metal Slug. And then I'm just doing a, a scorpion sketch that was re requested and i forget who maybe they're not here anymore well that's okay we had fun doing it anyways mixing things up see so this is where some of my lack of skill or at least the gaps in my study show where it's like yeah i'm not I'm not a hundred percent on the musculature and what's happening so i'm gonna i'm gonna hide some of this then when i get better <laughs> I'll be better equipped to do it, but just on top of the marker now, a little bit of hatching here. Oh yeah, chain. Forgot about that. Should have some new music coming soon too, which will be exciting. So yeah, like I said, I spilled something on my MacBook display and it went kaput. Not like it's not like dead. It just has like some weird spots on it. So I called Apple today before the stream actually. I was like, hey, what would it take to fix this? Any guesses? No Googling. No guesses. I'll give you some time. But yeah, needless to say, I was like, well, at that price, I might as well save a little bit more and just get a new one. <laughs> Which is probably what I'll do next year. Stinks, but it is what it is. All right, it's maybe a little, little something there. My chat is 
is like delayed or something. It's really weird. YouTube is acting weird today. Haven't really dropped any frames though, so that's good. All right. Where art thou, big fat marker? I need you. Oh, I need you. There you are. All right, so a little shadow here now. Shadow. All right, I'm gonna see what I can do to kind of transition from the shadow up into his legs here. Make this a little bit better. So I think what I'm gonna do, starting with this, I can kind of just cross hatch. We'll do some cross hatching because I want the feet here to just feel a little darker. It's going to help cover up my inadequacy, but also kind of help with the transition. Oh, now the chat is catching up. Hello. That was so weird. So freaking weird. I don't know what's happening with YouTube today. At least, at least the whole stream isn't going down like it did that one time, remember? People were trying to watch and then... I don't know, maybe it is right now. I didn't even think of that. But yeah, I was streaming... I think it was last week too. And like, all of YouTube went down, like, all of YouTube. So yeah, all of YouTube went down, and uh, mm. that was not fun. What's up, Stella Koala? Are you guys having issues with the YouTube, by the way? I wonder. Maybe you are. <laughs> My bye. Yeah, so this is what happens when you use um, alcohol markers on ballpoint. You get that. That weird blendy thing, but it's okay. It just makes the ballpoint pen bleed. And it might mess up the tip of your marker, so you'll just want to be careful, especially if you like if you like using ballpoint pens. All right, so what video game thing should I do next? And then I'll I'll wrap it up. We'll make a quick, whatever the next one is. I mean, something that'd be easy would be like Kirby. <laughs> Kirby's Big Adventure. We could do something Mario related. That'd be fun too. What do you guys think? Did I answer that? I think I did. Yeah, it was like, it was 1500 bucks basically to fix a MacBook Pro display screen. In case you're wondering, and you've ever wanted to know, that is how much it would cost. So I was like, nope, gonna live with, live with my pain. Live with that sadness. Good times, right? Thank you, Big Rod. Appreciate the contribution. Man, you guys are coming through today. Thank you. I appreciate it. So not doing digital today. We'll be doing some of that this week though. So if you like Procreate, Adobe Fresco, things like that. I'll make sure to do some streams on that stuff this week. 
What kind of graphic tablet? Uh, right now I'm using paper, but I do use an iPad Pro 12 point. Man, this, this thigh is so thick. I think that's part of the problem. Um, I use it. He's got like this big ace, thick thigh. Oh, thick. My name's Scorpion and I'm just so thick. Um, <laughs> probably copy this, this pattern through. But yeah, I use a I use an iPad Pro 12.9 for my illustration work and I use Procreate and Adobe Fresco. Those are my tools. Let's have it so he's like basically holding this. It's darker in the middle here. Something like that. I mean, of course, you know, this is this is a first sketch, so I'm not ready to to hit the Comic Con tables yet or anything, guys. And do all that. I would need a lot more practice, but um point is here and kinda like I was alluding to earlier, that <clears throat> as an illustrator, designer, whatever, a lot of times you can figure things out. Um ooh, an arcade machine would be good. I'll do that, Svetlana. Um, a lot of times you can figure things out if you just kind of think about it, which sounds perhaps obvious, but. Okay, I think this is the correct side of the marker paper. So let's do that. All right, so we did video game characters. Svetlana had a request for an arcade cabinet, and that would be a good way, I think, for me to kind of wrap the stream. Just a really quick sketch. You know, I mentioned I mentioned uh, Pac-Man earlier, so we could do something like that. All right. So for the arcade cabinet, what I can do is we can just kind of establish or get a proportional box here, at least roughed out and set up. This pen is dry. Let's find another one here. So we can kind of set the proportion up, perspective, whatever. Just a little box and then start to divide. You guys have heard me say form, divide, beautify, right? Form, divide, beautify. And that is what we're going to do here. All right, so cabinet, um, you know, we can decide what style we want. So somewhere in the middle here is going to be the halfway point, right? So I'm just going to start building, basically. You know, if I want this to be a little bit longer now, I'm switch, switch to a paper made flare as well, guys. All right, so there's the side. Maybe this is the top now, slight angle to it. Just like that. Tick mark and then down like so. And just like the old arcades, right? If, if someone's standing there, we need to have a way to have the screen, usually a little curved CRT screen, right? Curved, maybe a little recessed, something like that. Let's go ahead and round these edges. Like so, how about we do like a nice dark wood grain on the side or black. Could do something like that. Okay, this is maybe a little bit silly, but <laughs> the other the other video game I actually loved playing for a bit. And this had to have been when I was like 18, so this is, wow, it's a long time ago. But those old um, Dance Dance Revolution games, <laughs> I used to love playing those. So much fun. Did you guys ever do those? All right, and then you had your 
think you had like a, a coin thing down here, right? Usually. Two slots. Player one, player two. Maybe some sort of whatever text. Again, apologies if you're watching on Instagram. I haven't been able to mirror the video today, so I literally can't even see see comments, see what's happening. But um, next time, just be sure to tune into the stream. on YouTube, it's better quality. I have like two Sony a7 threes that I'm using for video these days. So that is, that's the setup, the get up. All right, so maybe this is, hmm, I wanna mess this up. I'll just, I'll just, let's just do something generic. And it just says game. I was gonna try and do like Pac-Man or something. Maybe it's like game on. It has like the 80 stars or something. Maybe. Sky's the limit, people. All right, so. You can start with, like I said, just a simple box like that, of course, super important to warm up or you won't be able to, you know, draw your straight lines, for example. So even those squiggly lines on the outside, I can come back, and do something like this. Let's give a little recess to the front. This come out. Your outline is going to help clean things up, of course. This is this is definitely more of a design sketch style. Like product design sketch style. It almost looks like it's happy. All right? This could be a little smile down here. Maybe I'll just do a little line. <laughs> then those are eyes like a snail. It's the snail game. <laughs> Just having fun. But that could also be a background element, right? So here's our, our screen. Now, I'm trying to decide if I wanted to even do reflections or anything like that. But um, what we could do is just like black it out. So I did promise, kind of getting ahead of myself in my head, but I did promise we would do some sort of wood. Even if it's faux wood here for this side and maybe some color on the inside. So since it's wood, I'm gonna be deliberately wavy here and kind of go back and forth with the marker and not quite do solid fill like I normally would. This is just gonna naturally give a good base for wood. Even if like right now this is probably enough I could just label it and say wood and people will be like, oh okay. That is wood. Or it's a wood grain texture of some sort. Cool. So this is a Copic marker. This is a an E44, in case you're wondering, E44. Thank you, Saeed. Much appreciated. Um, I guess I could do black or like some deep gray. I'm, I already have gray out, so might as well. Um, thanks again to those who contributed in the chat with Super Chats. Much appreciated. If you're interested, check out channel, ah, check out channel memberships as well. You get a you get a sticker, a high five, the feel goods, and uh, specifically if you're an ultimate fan, 
I send you a sketch and a note every month saying thank you. Um, as well as, remember, I do upload the sketches that I'm, I produce to the Google Drive. So there is a Google Drive for channel members and patrons. If you're interested in getting access to that, just become a member. Anyhow, but with that, that being said, I do appreciate you all and appreciate you hanging, of course. Of course. All right, where was I? It lost. I was gonna do the screen. So yeah, someone said they wish, um, or they were wanting to steal my studio. It's a good space, it's small, it's efficient. Um, I'm trying to think of a better, oh, here you go. You can kind of see the studio if I back out of the frame here. Maybe, it's not gonna focus on what's behind, but. Um, it's a good space, pretty small. Um, you can, I think there's a video. All right, Lori, thank you. Take care. Um, there's a video on my channel where I do give more of a tour of the studio. I need to update that because a lot's changed even since then. So I'm just grateful that I do have, I do have a creative space that I can use. This is a pit brush pen. I think it's a water-based ink, but kind of handy. I like them. All right, I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna do for the front here. Maybe I'll copy copy these this color motif thing here at least. We could have some stripes down here too. Um, so I did green and then we had red. Some retro game thing. Then blue. Alright. Something like that. And because I'm being lazy right now, I'm just gonna take this basic gray one and just fill in the rest under here. And then a bit for shadow, like so. And big fat marker, fill in. When did I find my sketching style? Um, I'm still finding it, man. Still finding it, but I I just try to pay attention to things I like in other people's sketches. And then if it's something I want to replicate, then I'll just replicate that. This is a weird background, but I wanted to cover up that, that brown spot. So we'll keep it a little loose there. A little bit loosey goosey. So yeah, as for when I picked up my style, just um, when or how. It's just like, if you see something you like, you kind of copy it. And that's okay. Because ultimately, you will figure out your own thing. And if your style looks like extraordinarily close, to someone else's I would say you know give it some time but also just mix it up when or how you can and you know everything's a remix really in life so don't be hard on yourself if you're like oh man I don't have my own style yet it'll come It'll come for sure. Like, there's artists that I... There's artists that I um, follow, and I see their style, and I'm like, oh, man, I wish I could... I wish I could sketch, like, Ryan, for example. There's a guy I follow. He does... Uh, 
the amazing Spider-Man. Well, he used to for Marvel. Lives here in Salt Lake. Anyhow, um, really great style, but I've picked up little things from him, but not so much like I'm trying to copy the style, but just influenced by um, certain ways that he may ink things, for example. So one example might be, you know, I, historically anyways, I'm not one to do much hatching, but I've kind of started leaning into that a bit more. And he's certainly been in influential. So here's an example of, you know, doing some hatching to create a little bit yeah, this is, I need to focus lock this camera. My apologies. I haven't really taken the time to set it up here. Um, let's see. Light walnut. Okay, a little bit darker. This works. Anyhow, so you can kind of you can take another artist or designer style and then learn things from it and apply and but you're not really going to integrate that knowledge unless you experiment so you kind of have to you can look at drawing books all day but until you start drawing nothing's going to really click for you so just something to be aware of definitely um, practice and it'll all come together what is the technical characteristics of the lamps that weigh above my table color rendering temperature blah, blah, blah. Can I answer in Discord? Um, I'm not sure, but I can post the links to the lamps. They are variable. This one is set to 4300K Kelvin right now, and they're pretty matched. So I would assume I'd have to look at the other one. It's around the same. So about 4300K. All right. Okay, guys, let's do a quick recap. So we did our video game machine here. We also threw down and did a scorpion. Thanks for the challenge, as always. And warmed up with a little bit of metal slug. So we'll be back tomorrow with more uh, sketching. Um, maybe I'll break out digital stuff. We can continue the video game theme. I'd love to see your work. So definitely post that in the weekly sketch challenge channel if you want that to be on the stream on Friday. I appreciate your work and your submissions. Hopefully you guys are having fun. Special shout out to Jordan again for pushing and working so hard to make these challenges a reality. So give him a high five, props, whatever you gotta do. He's been awesome. Um, that being said, thanks again for joining. I'm gonna go get cozy and have some lunch and chill for a bit, but as I always say, passion is the process, guys. I'll be back. Um, I've, I've already scheduled streams for tomorrow through the weekend. So if you want, you can check those out. They'll be live on the channel here. All right, passion is the process, and I'll see you guys next time right here on Sketch Today.